Throw gently back. floats yeah. back, and every time Peach comes back, he'll take she'll take maybe 10, 15 percent off of Mark. But it looks like these guys are starting off on battle foam. right into it. All right. Yeah. Um, so at the low percents, you're going to see Marth, uh, and you're going to see Prof forward, uh, forward throw Peach whenever he gets a grab. So that way he can get forward throw combos or a uh, or just um, a dash attack. Uh, right now, Prof is doing a pretty good job of cornering Hungry Pigeon, kind of keeping them all on the ledge. Uh, because if Peach is on the ledge against Marth, it's it's very miserable. It's, it's much harder for Peach than it is for Marth. Uh, if Mars in that situation. Um, but it looks like they found themselves back into the neutral. Okay. Yeah, that, that little that little float right there, that's sort of uh that's Hungry Pigeon saying, I bet you won't hit me. I yeah. bet you won't hit me. But, um, yeah. So right now Prof's doing pretty well. Um only 27%, which in this matchup, you know, you can take what you can get. Yeah. Uh, Peach is obviously a wall, so uh, whatever you can get from Marth, any sort of lead is great. Ooh, but... Gets the ledge, gets the pack of money. Yeah. <laughs> Gently floats back, what did I say? Goes aside via turnaround, going off stage, going yeah. crazy. Okay, so now... Oh, no. If... If Hungry Pigeon lets uh, Prof get back into the neutral at any point, like just slip past him when he's trying to get edge guarded. Right. Then it's gonna be it's gonna be the whole uphill battle all over again. Ooh. You're gonna see Peaches do that a lot, uh, and Hungry Pigeon specifically use air dodge to get back on stage. It's kind of yeah. hard to tell like when Peach is air dodging, but yeah. also like it's it's a very good air dodge. Last set, uh, you're survived so many F matches with with uh, air dodge back on the stage. Yeah, like it's so it's so good. Um, but that that edge guard right there is actually something you're gonna see Peaches do a lot too. Uh, just sort of as you drop the turn and take, yeah. yeah. There is a way that Marth can survive it, but I don't think on Battlefield. On Battlefield, it's tougher. Yeah. Ooh, that dash, dash attack is so good. It makes it back to much. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Does not fall into that down smash. Yeah. Oh, goes for the down air. Doesn't quite do that. Yeah, I mean, I think if you waited like a few, like a, like a little bit longer, you might have been able to get it, but I don't know. Yeah. Kind of an answer there. Just kind Ooh. of like, gets the smash. Okay, yeah, that's a thing. Uh, Pretty much on any stage that has platforms that isn't uh, Dreamland, mm. Marth can do that. Yeah. Uh, both with up tilt and with forward smash. Yeah. Uh, and that, that's uh, you do not want to be above Marth oh, when you're playing. Let's go. Ooh. Prof. <laughs> Prof. Prof's he wanted crazy. it. He wanted it. I mean, he has three stocks to spare, so you know yeah, why not? He's, he's going in right now. Yeah, Prof really. All right, all right. <laughs> <laughs> it's like yo, yeah, I got I got a blunder for down to that. Yeah. He's like, all right, if you're gonna come at me, I'm playing Peach Dog. Ooh. Now. The last set, uh, Memo went for quite a few side beats in neutral to kind of catch like what process is there. Yeah, that's because it the, at at mid to high percent side B is gonna knock Peach up like yeah. that. Yeah. And uh, you can set up for an up tilt. Like that, that's a free up tilt if Peach the eyes that rock. Um, and that's it. All right. Yep. Uh, so yeah, game one. That's goes to Prof. Pretty um, convincing. Up air, up air is a really good killing move on Peach. Like I know people talk about you know up tilt and stuff, but up air, like as long as you can juggle Peach, Mars yeah. pretty set. Especially when you can get set up from like the top platform. Yeah. It's... All right. So this is an interesting counter pick from uh, Hungry Pigeon because um, since there's no platforms, there's no way he can kind of reliably get down unless he uses his air dodge. Right. So if Prof is good at reading those air dodges and punishing them, kind of keeping his options open then there's not much Hungry Pigeon can do. Yeah. So, but maybe Hungry Pigeon knows something that we don't. Ooh, Prof. Yeah. Um, Prof has been comboed into turnips multiple times already. Yeah, yeah Hungry game. Pigeon's pretty good at just kind of like setting up with those turnips. Because um, what he'll do is that he'll he'll hit, like at a high percent, he'll hit Prof. Prof will get knocked into a turnip. And then he'll hit him for an even, for a move with bigger knockback. That bear in the down smash. Yeah. Followed up with a down smash. Yeah. Oh, we're not we're not seeing the the same degree of walling out from Prof in yeah. the last game. Uh, that's because I mean that, that's mostly because of the absence of platforms. Because yeah. um, the platforms kind of limit where Peach can go vertically. Right. Um, they're kind of a blessing and a curse because it gives the platforms give Peach more options when recovering. Mm -hmm. But also, if Marth is under Peach at any time, that's it. Right. Mm. Um, right there, uh, hungry. Yeah, Hungry Pigeon could have just 
down oh, ooh, with a taunt. The taunt. Wow. Uh, Huggy Pigeon, actually, the, the hitbox for the down smash actually goes like out. Uh, he like, it, it extends past the ledge. So yeah. if Prof uh, messes up his recovery, he doesn't sweet spot it, then he can just get hit and just get knocked off the ledge. There was that side B in the up tilt. Yeah. Was that a shield poke? Uh, on the side B? No, the uh, up tilt. Oh. Uh, no, no, he, he got the hit with the side B. Yeah. Oh, okay. Dropped him off and the yeah. up tilt. The thousand needles, as they call it. Ooh, I don't know. Marth, as Marth, you really don't want to use your double jump in the neutral like that. <laughs> uh, especially against Peach, because once you don't have your, like, if, if you don't have your double jump, that's what Peach is looking for. But... Prof it looks off stage. But. Yeah, Prof, Prof was doing a good job of kind of walling him out uh, yeah, that for that little right bit, back but to yeah. Stage. Like, once the neutrals reset, it's back to square one. Yeah. Uh, especially against Peach. There's that air dodge, Ooh. but Prof calls it out. Yeah. Wow. Um, yeah, so that's what I was talking about before, where uh, if Prof is good at reading those air dodges and calling them out, then oh, there's yeah. not much Peach can do on this stage. Yeah. Um, Obviously, you know, I'm, I'm like 100% certain uh, Hugger Pigeon banned Dreamland, or sorry, Prof banned Dreamland. Um, so I, that's that's another thing about this matchup that Peaches don't like is that, like, Marth wins on a lot of stages, like, so. Oh, but right now it, it looks pretty even, um, except for Prof having a little bit more uh, percent. But the thing is, like, if Marth and Peach are both at the same percent, Peach definitely has the advantage, because Peach is a wall. And there we go. Uh, the turnip covers a lot of options. Uh, oh yeah, especially Marth's recovery. Marth has to go low, more yeah. often than not. Something that I'm not noticing from Hungry Pigeon, or something that I've noticed that Hungry Pigeon isn't doing is uh, kind of playing it safe with turnips. He's really getting, he's really going on top of Prof, and I don't know if that's working out for him, you know? Yeah. Um, because if if Peach has a turnip in her hand, she will win most exchanges against Mark. Right, of course. So she can just like neutral. Yeah. But we'll see. We'll see if he if he notices this and changes up his playstyle or uh, or not. Because right now he's actually doing pretty well. Uh, it's tough for turnip. Yeah. It also hits Hunger Pigeon. Though that down tilt like. Playing Marth against Peach is actually pretty different from like most matchups because like you're uh -huh. down tilt. Oh my god, that was crazy. scary. <laughs> Come on, Prof, what are you doing? Um, so Marth's down tilt is his like number one zoning ability. Right. Uh, for spacing, yeah, like, you can't really. It's not really that safe against Peach because Peach. Would, ooh, thousand needles. Um, what is that the second one this game? Yeah. Um, but yeah, as I was saying, because if you if you sort of miss space the uh, the the down tilt. You're extending your hitbox because, right. yeah, because Marth's his hand goes out, mm -hmm. and so if Peach spaces it well enough, she can get Marth in a down in a down smash. And since you're already holding down from doing the down tilt, crouch you're gonna crouch that, cancel that, it, and that's it. You're you're done. 100%. Yeah. But probably gonna bring this back though. He gets a crowd. Yeah, he's he can do it honestly. Um, up throw into three forward airs, down air. Goes and that's for it. the down tilt. Though, <laughs> yeah. And trades. Ooh, needs to okay. Turn up and this and, is... Oh, no, no. All, all Hungry go, Pigeon needs to do is grab the ledge. Ooh. Let's see if he can... Oh, right, he bro. wanted that. <laughs> he wanted that. Yeah. Oh, wow. Dash dance for that. Suddenly, this just got a lot closer. <laughs> oh, oh that's really man. bad. It's that living. is really bad. Okay, a little bit more for... Oh, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, okay, that was really wild. good spacing to avoid the uh, turnip. Let's go, Prof. This is crazy. Ooh. A very good neutral air. He hit him with like Marth's head. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't even the sword. And oh, that's not it. Yeah, the blast zone on uh... side B's like a madman. Up B out of shield. Up shield gets him, dog. Wild. Let's go, Prof. <laughs> Prof. Can bring it's it back. back. Yeah, I mean, um, I guess Hungry Pigeon, you know. I mean, Hungry Pigeon was up two stocks. Hungry Pigeon was up two stocks, game. and yeah, well, that's.